Sue, don't say that. You're beautiful just the way you are. I know it. No offense, Sue, but nothing will hide how hideous you are. <laughs> Mom never told me, but there must be something about... Well, still not a dream. <sighs> Here we go again. Better get ready. Sleep well, sweetie? Could be better, but yes. Still wish I wasn't stuck with this face. But it is what it is. Sue, don't say that. You're beautiful just the way you are. I know it. Just because no one else sees it doesn't mean it's true. That's easy for you to say. You're not the one getting bullied every day when people so much as look at you. Even my teacher. I can see it in his eyes. He doesn't even care to look at me. Why am I like this, Mom? Why is everyone so mean to me? Sweetie, I promise you, the world is full of people who will love you just as you are. It's just that there are good and bad people in this world. Don't worry, sweetie. I promise things will get better. Thanks, I guess. Okay, Mom. I trust you. I'm hanging on as best as I can. Oh, by the way, Sarah will be taking you to school today. She'll be here in about an hour. Mom has a lot of work today, so I can't take you. Not again. I mean, I love Sarah, but I want you to take me, Mom. This is the third time in a row you promised. I am so sorry, dear. This is what I have to do to put food on the table. You've had a difficult childhood already, and you're still young. I can't stand to watch you in more pain. Do you understand, Sue? Oh, yeah, I get it. Okay, Mom. I'll wait for Sarah then. All the best for your work today. I'll be waiting for you in the afternoon. I'll try to get back earlier today. You can tell me all about how your day was. <laughs> well, I'm not sure you'd want to hear that. But I'll be wearing a special mask today, so I'll be totally fine. <laughs> Whatever works for you, I guess. <laughs> oh no! I'm so sorry, little granny! Did I hurt you? Did I hurt your frail little bones? Please forgive me. I'm just a little kid. Forgive me or else I'll be miserable for the entire day. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Granny's losing her ears, too. This is your fault, Becky. Look what you've done to an elder. Did your parents teach you any manners? How could you treat this old grandma like that? She thinks she could just hide her face like that? <laughs> no offense, Sue, but nothing will hide how hideous you are. You should be at a retirement home sipping tea with all the other old people. Ugh, why'd you have to do that, Sam? I could have gone my whole day without seeing that face. <laughs> just, just leave me alone! What did I ever do to you three? Please, just stop this! I can't take this anymore! <laughs> no, stop laughing, you two. Granny's upset. How dare you make our elder cry? We're gonna get into so much trouble for this, aren't we, Sue? I can't even imagine. <laughs> Guys, guys, you won't believe this, but I caught it all on camera. I hid it so she couldn't see. Imagine, baby granny cries in high school. Look at a million hits. <laughs> Stacy, you're a genius. Oh, I can't wait to put this one up. We'll be famous. Don't know how Sue will take it, though. She'll probably fall on her walking cane. I bet a million dollars she has a walking cane back home. <laughs> 
Of course she does. How else would she save her skinny little bones from all that walking? <laughs> <laughs> We might have to take the extra shift today. I still can't make ends meet. I promised Sue I'd be back early, but I can't help it. She'll understand. These last seven years have been a roller coaster. I'm so proud of you, Jane. You've come so far. For you and for Sue. I bet you she thinks of you as the greatest in the world. Well, she does say that to me, so I guess it's true. Tell you what, let's get her a surprise. I'll grab her her favorite ice cream sundae when picking her up. She'll be blown away. But I want to drive you this time. I'm way too tired. Waiting tables for three hours isn't easy. Hey, I know how you feel. I do it too, remember? <laughs> <laughs> I'm officially calling you my butler for a few hours. Please, drive me safely to the ice cream store, ma'am. I'll pay you handsomely, too. <laughs> you don't have to go that far, but if you insist, please get in. I'll drive you as safely as I can. No promises, though. No promises? That's not what you say, Jane. I don't know if I should get in anymore. <laughs> <laughs> was carrying around. My, my, you've gotten uglier. Time hasn't been kind to you, has it, my darling? Dad, who is this? Why is she talking to me like that? Dad, please, can I just come in? You can explain everything to me. Excuse me? You're not coming into our house in a million years. I can't even stand the sight of you, little granny. Why are you even here? Dave left your mom a long time ago and is perfectly happy with me. We don't need you. Dad, what is she saying? Please say it's not true, Dad. Please let me in. I'm tired, alone, hungry. I have nowhere else to go. That's not really my problem. There's no way I'll stain my reputation by having you around the house. Me and your mom were through, as Rebecca said. There's no place for you here. Now leave or I'll call security to kick you out. Dad, please, Dad, I need you. I'm all alone. I don't have anywhere else to go. 
leave now and never come back. This is my final warning. If I see you outside here after five minutes, I'm calling security! She's been here. Why hasn't anyone helped her? Outside and was scared. You have a high fever. I have so many questions to ask, but we should rest first. Look, I made you some hot chocolate. Are you... are you not scared of me? Of my face? What? No, I would never! I think you're a beautiful young lady. Why would you ever say something like that? You can call me Sue. I lost my mother recently. And my dad doesn't want me. I have no one to turn to, but I never gave up. But everyone just looks at me different. This one time I was at the store, the manager kicked me out because... because I was scaring his customers. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. For a young lady like you to go through this, I don't know what to say. I've been sleeping outside different neighborhoods for three days, but today I was so tired. I think I collapsed and that's when you found me. Sweetie, say no more. Just finish your hot chocolate first, okay? I promise I'll listen to you then. <laughs> Sue, so, if it's okay, why don't I take care of you? If you go out there right now, you'll never survive. There are bad people out there, and I don't want to think what they could do to you. <laughs> I won't come close to how your mother was, but I promise I'll do my best. I can't see you go out like this. Stay with me, and I promise I'll do whatever I can. Really? You don't mind having someone like me around? Won't your neighbors start talking? Won't they start avoiding you for having someone like me? I can't have that happen to you. Sue, listen to me, okay? You're a beautiful young lady, and nothing will change that. You've just been around very bad people who say these horrible things, but they don't see what I see. I see a young, brave girl who's been through so much and still hasn't given up. Do... Do you really think so? But... But I almost gave up before you found me. If you had given up, I would have never found you, Sue. Sometimes the hardest, most painful things happen to the best people. That just proves how special you are. <laughs> I... I didn't think of that. I didn't know how much I needed this. <laughs> Thank you. From now on, just call me Tracy. I wouldn't mind you calling me mom, either. I'll go make some dinner now, okay? In the meantime, rest up. You're safe now, sweetie. I promise you that. I was safe around my mom, too. But then life took her away from me. What if... What if you're taken away from me, too? I can't go through that. Not again. That will not happen. I don't know what life has in store, but... I promise I will not leave your side. Now rest up and I'll get you some dinner. We'll talk even more afterwards, okay?
This reminds me of when I used to have breakfast with mom. I know I'm repeating this over and over, but I can't thank you enough. You saved me when I was at my worst. Thank you. <laughs> well, sweetie, if you want her to pay me, you can simply start calling me mom, too. That's all I ever need. Also, you're getting prettier by the day. Okay, then, mom. <laughs> I like the sound of that, too. Am I really? I looked in the mirror and I still look super old. I wonder if I'll stay this way. Well, <laughs> my theory is that you'll get younger as time goes on. Think about it. You were born with an old face, right? So maybe, just maybe, your face will look younger and younger as time passes. While the rest of us will be struggling to walk, you'll be at your prime. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but I see your point. <laughs> if you ask me, you look younger than when I found you outside all those years ago. My theory might be correct after all. Well, I guess we'll let time run its course then. <laughs> 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 By the way, my shift doesn't start till 10, so I'll drop you off to school. You won't mind that, right? I never mind that. I love spending time with you. This must be my lucky week. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, you're a tough cookie. I thought for sure you'd be sent to the heavens years ago. Can't believe that frail body is still holding up so well. Hmm, you three. Still the same as ever? Some things never change, do they? Get the sass with you, Granny. At least we don't look like expired food. You should be grateful for however much time you have left. Even your dear mother passed away before you did. I think that calls for a celebration. <laughs> I'm convinced she's using some kind of aging potion. There's no way she can go on living for another day. Tell me, are you hiding your walking crane behind that locker? Wouldn't be surprised if you were. Stop, you two! You're giving Granny too much credit here. She doesn't have the intelligence to pack her little cane! <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want, you little ants. You won't be celebrating for long. Trust me on that. You'll see. You'll all see. <laughs> Granny Sue, back with the sass and the attitude. Oh my god, this is too good to be true. Tell me you caught that on tape, Sam. Please tell me. When have I ever let you down? Of course I caught it all. have to remember who you are. Your face, it always takes me back. I should thank the store manager for letting a senior like you work here. You people need it after all to put food on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Just get us our usual. Two black coffees, hot. And make sure you don't touch any of it. Last thing I need is you infecting my precious coffee. Two black coffee, got it. That's all you have to say, little granny. How about showing some respect to your father? You know he's terribly hurt, right? How dare you? I think we've had enough fun for today. Come on, honey, let's have a seat. Don't let it get to you. They're just bad people. This is how they entertain themselves. It hurts to have my own dad talk to me like that, but I can't help it. Just, just don't let it get to you. I still miss you every day. Your little girl is going strong. I don't care if the world is against me. I know I have you and Tracy. I promise I'll stay strong for you too.
Things will get better. I just know it. I know they will. I'm holding on to hope, just like you once did. I love you, Mom. I've never looked better. <laughs> you were right all along, Tracy. I mean, second mom. <laughs> you were right all along. I heard you two were late to work. Again, this is your final warning. Actually, on second thought, I'll go easy on you. You two are getting old after all. You're having way too much fun with this, aren't you? Just because you look younger and healthier doesn't make you superior. Somehow, you finally managed to make your aging potion work, huh? Doesn't matter how highly you think of yourself. You'll still be the old little granny you always were, you wrinkle. Let it go, you two. Just say sorry and move on. We were horrible to her for years. I think she deserves a genuine apology. Oh, so now you're standing up for her? Just because she's prettier than I am? How dare you backstab me like that? <laughs> uh, he has a point, you know. You two need to learn some manners if you're going to be in my company. Just remember, if you talk to me like that again, you're fired. This is the only place capable of hiring you three. Don't waste this opportunity.